Hello and welcome to another painting video. Today we're going to be painting the Sentinel Prime MK4 or Mark IV from Marvel Crisis Protocol. Um, so notice that it's, it's, a, it's a color already because uh, full disclosure you guys know how I hate um, airbrushes <laughs> so it took me a while to get it to work so when I finally did I just went with it you can see I sprayed everywhere. There's spray all over everything. And I did all the other two also, but we're only gonna do one painting video for the Sentinels. Um, I already tested out the paint scheme. It looks cool, so we're gonna go with it. So, I mean, there's another way I, I would maybe rather do it. I would look at the, where I do this scheme, it's like a darker scheme. But if you look at my old Hawkeye video on the channel, it's more of a like different scheme with the deep sky blue and the blue violet um, to get more of a lighter kind of more vibrant color but if you want like a darker more comic booky look this is the way you're gonna want to do it so the first thing we did is we primed the whole thing black and you're saying it's not black right now why did you do that so so after you do that you're gonna want to airbrush it uh, with a bright metallic color so I use the shining silver from Army Painter, but you could also use like silver from uh, Vallejo or even like this stuff, the Mithril Silver from Citadel. It's just you just want a bright, almost like a really bright metallic because we're gonna be using contrast for this whole thing uh, to get it painted. So without, so I don't have to talk anymore. Let's get started. So the first color we're going to go with is this Sigvald Bur Burgundy contrast paint. This is going to be our kind of light purpley area. And what the silver is going to do is kind of give it a metallic-y sheen underneath the whole thing. So let's get started here. So you want to pick out the big leg panels as we do it. And you wanna try to maintain the silver metallic under in all these little cracks and stuff. So you're gonna need some brush control for this. It's not gonna be like our other videos where we just kinda go at it and do it later, deal with it later. Cause dealing with this later is gonna be a little bit more complicated. So, just get going here. It's kind of hard to see some of these bits, so you'll just kind of have to use your imagination when figuring out what's what. But And it can look a little weird when you're doing this. You'll get some streaks and stuff because of the, how the metallic paint is. But if you keep the brush strokes in one direction, uh, 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 um, it helps. You wanna use like kind of a thicker layer of it. We're just going through here and making sure that we get the insides, the, the little edges of it. I've already tested this scheme on a regular Sentinel because I didn't want the first time me doing this to be on the video right now. So I already tested it on a smaller Sentinel. Yeah, it looks cool. It's, like I said, it's a darker, more kind of comic book look. Um, if you're not looking for that, like I said, go to the, go to my Hawkeye video. And I would just use the, probably the blue color or the purple color for this part. And then the blue color for the, the other part, the next part. 
for the other chunks of middle. And then you probably, and you wouldn't have to do the metallic undercoat, but it would help. So thankfully there's not a whole big, his, his sections are a lot bigger than the little guy. So going through these panels is going to be quicker than I'm kind of, I had other videos filmed for the channel, but since these came out and people really like Sentinels and you know, I see them as a good jumping in point for people to get into Marvel Crisis Protocol, I decided to skip the line and let this video come out this week probably. I mean, not probably, it is out on Wednesday. So, because like I said, I don't like following like trends and stuff, but this is a game I actually play, and this is a army that I'm really interested in, so that's why we're doing it, because I have the model. Um, I also had another idea that I will be executing on, is that I've repurchased some of the starter box characters, and I'm rebuilding my list for the game, because you have to have 10 characters. Uh, there's only three three sentinels right now <laughs> so it's not really enough to build a whole 10 10 man army with but i'm going to build the people and paint them like they are sentinels so i'm going to do captain america war machine iron man black panther um thor and i'm going to paint them in the sentinel scheme so it's like that the master mold or Trask Industries or whatever, you know, was like, let's make Sentinels that are copies of heroes or whatever to kill the mutants. So I'm going to do like a mutant extermination squad faction so that if I play and I want to use just like one Sentinel, because they're only like four points. This guy's five, but the little guy's are only four points. So I can make them look like they're all Sentinels and they're all part of the same team. That's a cool idea, I think. Cause you know, you have Hydra, Captain America. I've seen people paint like their whole, all their guys like Hydra. I've seen them paint them like uh, Deadpool. I've seen them do all like Venomized versions. So I was like, let's do an all Sentinel version. I wasn't really a fan. I mean, I'm not like, kill the mutants, but like, I'm not like a huge fan of the mutants anyway in the comic books. Like, I don't have, I don't really use them. Like, Wolverine's dope, but he's like the only one that I'm like, oh, okay, cool. So, we're gonna make the 10 man army of the mutant exterminators. So, you're just getting like the little back right there and. We'll get this little cheek pad as well. We're doing our best to preserve the silver undercoat. gonna get a little it might it'll get on some things but it won't super duper matter as long as we leave the bulk of it fine okay now we get the arms which are just the biceps that we're getting and these are interesting because they say like you know they're multi you have options in the kit. Um, the options are kind of, it's weird because this Sentinel and the little Sentinels are basically the same kit. Um, this one's just big. It's bigger and he has this triangle on his chest instead of the other symbol. But um, his, his options are like battle damaged bits like you have there's a whole different chest piece a whole different head 
and then there's different arm options for all of them. Um, the arms are either kind of bent like this or straight out. And then the hand options are like this one folding, like out shooting, this one in a fist, and there's one that's like open, open, opening or something like that. Um, so your poses to make them, I didn't, I had one pose that I really like, but it's on the little guy. So to copy the same po pose on this guy was weird. I even did it on the opposite side, but I think this was a good pose just for the boss. And since he's the one that's gonna be the least used probably, I mean, he'll be used if I'm playing Sentinels as a faction, but if I'm just gonna include one of them in my army, it's gonna be the four point ones, not this. 5.1 So we just get the bicep And you know usually I would do a building video and all that. Um, I really wanted to do a building video, but the instructions are all online for these guys, um, which is unfortunate because I wanted. Uh, I use my. I use my phone to film. I'm not really, uh, you know, I'm not at that super professional level yet, where I have like DSLR cameras and all that kind of stuff. To film so kind of puts me out on that and if you want to do this a little different too you could like zenithal with the silver and get those dark areas in there and stuff but they went together pretty good these models you just have to look at the instructions online, especially when it comes to the hands and which part goes where, um, just because it's, it's a little, a little different. Okay. This off really quick so I can a little too much in here. We can get that out so you can still see the little pool in there. Okay. Okay, now we get the head with the last of the purple. So that is this whole, whole top of his head. And then the crown thingy. Just being careful around the other sections here. Being sure not to get it in those areas that we don't want it. So like I said, this is more of a traditional sentinel paint scheme uh, with a couple variations, but well, I think they're variations. I'm not 100% sure. I'm not an expert on Sentinels. So then for the mouth, we get this whole 
top piece here. Get the chin. Be careful with when you're flopping the model around because uh, you don't want to hit the other parts of the model. So let's set this here really quick. Come in here. Get this hole in here. The little jawline. Same thing on this side, just kind of resting it on its arms to get the leverage that we need to pull this brush lightly in the direction. Cool, and there's our face. Whew, we did it. Now we go to the blue. The thing about this blue is that some of the areas will be a little streaky and we'll just go over again with another coat uh, to darken it up a bit. Um, really quick while we let this sit, I'll show you the poses of the other two that we got. So here is the little crony one. You can see it's a little bit shorter. Um, I like this pose a lot. This is like my, probably my favorite pose. This is the one I wanted to do for him. And then here's the one that we've already painted, so you can get a kind of idea where we're going. Um, he's just more of like a standard pose. And like you see like some of these areas that are a little bit glossy, so you can see that the, the contrast isn't super great, but you could also kind of go over it with another paint and do some highlights and stuff if you wanted to. So the blue that we're using is this contrast, Celestium Blue. Give it a good shake. And then we start, we go from the bottom up, just because, I don't know, <laughs> because I felt like it, I don't know. So again, it's the same thing, you're putting it on. This one you can put on a little darker, because I, like I said, it does kind of streak a little bit. Uh, I don't know if this is one of their newest ones that they just came out with. So you want to kind of just get it in those areas, but making sure to ignore or um, avoid the areas that we want to keep silver. So for here, just want to get down here. And we'll do one limb at a time. And just work our way up the model slowly. up here so just get your brush get it wet and then you can take out the contrast on the spot that you hit so I hit this little tube right here I don't want this to get painted so we'll just pull it away When the brush is really wet, that's when we get more runny. So just keep wiping it off and going back to what you need to go to. And 
And it looks weird when you're putting this on. Like, you're like, am I doing the right thing? Is this correct? Um, but once it dries, it looks a lot better. So just kind of, I know people always say like, trust the process, but this is one where you kind of have to trust what you're doing. Even though, you know, admittedly, I don't always know what we're doing. So we're just kind of following these panel lines um, and filling in what we want to fill in. Take your time, let the paint do its job. You don't have to force it to do it. It's just gentle. And just kind of float it in there. Light touches with your brush. It'll help it stay high instead of going where you don't want it to. Oops, especially right here too. Be careful when you touch it because of how it's kind of laid out right now. How he's so big for the base. You have to be careful when you touch it to retouch up those areas. Okay, I'm gonna get the knee pad. Well, like I was saying, there's a battle damage also, also that you can do for him instead, but I was like, what do I want battle damage uh, sentinels? I want fresh off the assembly line, fresh out the master mold. Make sure when you paint a panel, you go to all sides of it to make sure that you're getting all of the sections of it. You see, I'm a little bit of a mess. Hurt. We're gonna get the inside here. some weird weird poses here to get him in a position where I can paint this. You want to, if you're going to do stuff like that, make sure you put it on sections that haven't been painted yet. So put it on his hand. Just take it one panel at a time. 
Make sure you get everything that you want to get. And then you don't get what you don't want to get. Whew. Paint's being a little... floaty today. So how I decided where the colors go was just kind of following the box art. Um, it has blue in some of these areas, but these were purple. I wanted to leave them blue though, just to differentiate mine from maybe more people that were following the box art um, for their paints. You always do this little teeny things, just little teeny things that make things more for you The little touches that'll help you recognize your army on a table versus someone else's who might take that thing you did for granted. This is gonna get our normal base treatment too, but we have to wait for all this to dry before we can kind of go in there. I hope I'm still in frame for you guys. I'm trying my best here, but this is a big model. So the Sons of Bayamat of Marvel Crisis Protocol. This blue is kind of like an Optimus Prime-y color when you're putting it on, which is maybe why like in the beginning I was like, oh no, did I do it? Did I pick the wrong color? But when it dries, it does look a lot different. If you wanted to paint your guys like Optimus Prime, go for it. I would recommend probably like the Blood Angels red though for the red for the purple areas. Lots of tossing and turning of this model. Sorry if I move them out of frame for a second here. Just gotta get this panel here. And this panel there. You wanna make sure you get the tops too, because like 
here, I even missed it. When I did this on the other guy too, I missed a lot of spots too. I had to keep going back and rechecking the spots. Especially sometimes it does pull out and there's leaves like a little white spot. So you just wanna make sure you grab those when you see them because you'll lose it if you forget, if you don't do it right away. Usually you'll forget and you won't be able to find it again until one day you're like, I wanna do this. I wanna show someone this and you're like, oh, there's the spot. Oh, and there's our legs. Let me just stretch out my back really quick. Oof. And give this another shake. Just some material, all that stuff that had time to set, all settled down toward the bottom. Oh. Make sure we're still recording. I had some incidents on some of the upcoming videos that you'll see <laughs> where stop recording and that's fun to find out when you're done now we're gonna go get the crutch make sure you get like this under in here this under bit because it's gonna you're, it's gonna get hard unless you want to leave it silver too it would probably look cool if it was silver as well we're getting under the crutch so like i said we're just working up the body Take your, your line and follow it as far as you want to take it. Just be careful around all those areas that we've already painted. Same thing on this side, go over here. You know, when I saw these guys, I knew they would be a pretty good candidate for Um, contrast paints because of these big areas to put paint in. And it has lots of little crevices and cracks and stuff that would take the the contrast would fill really easy into. So we're gonna go up here. So for me, I'm leaving the spine as silver. You don't have to do that. I think traditionally it's blue. But like I said, it's those little, those little details that you do to help distinguish your army on the table. 
especially if these guys are going to be popular, you're going to want to be able to tell which ones are yours. here just trying to find those dividing lines of where you want your color to go Here, just making sure it's the same on both sides. Just keeping that nice and even. booster guys we also got some paint here that we don't want there so we can take it off with our finger okay now we work on the chest Okay, for the triangle on the front here, you want to carefully get the little raised sections. So, because we're going to be putting different contrast paint on the inside. is isn't the best job, but it's, the jo it's a job. And we're leaving the neck rings silver, so it's got to be careful on the inside not to touch the head that you've already worked on. done the hands yet so we can kind of rest it on its hand to get that piece. Okay, now we go to the hands. 
or the arms. So shoulder pads. There's, there's other parts in here too, so just try your best to pick in, pick out the ones that are the arm and which ones are like the mechanical insides. So we're trying our best to keep the mechanical insides mechanical. Also, just another tip when using contrast, be careful when you're kind of flipping your brush around and stuff because it is a, like a liquidy paint. You could splash and get paint on areas that you don't want paint on. So just, you know, take your time. Be careful. You're not on a deadline. You're not trying to win any competitions here. We're just trying to get it done and get it done in a, to a decent standard so that we can play and crush our enemies. So we're gonna make sure we're getting all of this. And where we went over with the purple a little bit is fine on these panels because this is ultimately darker than that purple, so. Okay, and then for the hands, it's pretty much the whole thing is blue, except we're leaving the little joint, a little, the little cross section there. Just kind of work around it. And then when we get into the hand here, let me see if I get it. The view where you can kind of see it. So the whole thing is blue, except that little ring in the back there. Um, be careful around the little energy projector here because we'll put a different contrast paint in there to give it that glowiness. Okay, there we go to the other side. Now we can't rest it on the arms anymore because they have paint on them, wet paint. Let's make sure we're getting the little undersides there. Probably gonna have to touch up this foot again just because I keep touching it in a weird spot for painting. <laughs> I hope you're enjoying this video so far. We're almost done here. Just a couple more little details to go through. And then we'll have another done sentinel in, I don't know what time, how long this, is, this video is yet, but I'm imagining it's a pretty decent time.
hand. Just be careful around that little spot down there that we want to keep the silver. Flip it really quick so I can get the back of the thumb here. Okay, that's it for the blue. Now we just have little details. So for this, I'm gonna get my little teeny brush out. And then we're gonna get, not this, this is not a teeny brush. And then we're going to get our Blood Angels Red to dot the eyes. And then you'll have to excuse me for a moment while I get in here. Eyes. Now we want to take some Fuegan orange, oh not Fuegan orange, Griffhound orange. Fuegan orange, is that one of the new ones I think? And what we're going to do is we're going to kind of go around the edge of the triangle here. Leave the middle, and we're gonna put just a little bit of this also into the reactors or the blaster hole thingies in his hand. So we'll just cover that in there. And I did that too. Like I said, you gotta find these things when you when you find them, you gotta touch them up. So we got found a little spot in the thumb that I didn't get. So just kind of touch that up really quick. Okay, and then we're gonna get our E end in yellow to put the inside of the triangle. We're just kind of blending the two together. And then same thing on the hands. We get the yellow just kind of in the very, very middle. That's what we're trying for here. I'm gonna clean it off in between too so you don't mix those colors together. Okay. Now I'm going to stick with the small brush for the face, and for the face we're going to use a Skeleton Horde contrast paint. And that's going to give us that tan kind of ceramic color that their faces are. Just going to anchor it as best you can. And start putting it on. Where usually I would support globbing it, not globbing it, but you know, using a heavy hand on this. I wouldn't recommend it for the face because there's lots of little areas that can get messed up. The paint goes in the wrong spot. So there is our face. 
And then the final step of this whole thing is a black wash. So we're gonna put the black wash in all the little areas that the metal is showing. And that's gonna darken it out and help us kind of, you know, give us a little bit more dimension in some of these spots. So just kind of, you can be a little, you can be heavy with it. You don't have to keep it pristine. If you're, I would recommend if you're using the battle damaged parts to do um, Agrax Earthshade watch, a wash of that instead. That's more of a kind of rusty brown. You know, if you want to show that this thing has been around versus right out of the right out of the machine here, kind of look that we're going for. So just, just like we did the body, we're gonna work our way up slowly here, just getting in all those little crevices, nooks and crannies. And we get in here, that guy. The little boosters in here just get those now because I'm thinking about it now they're very easy to forget about get that little guy you can kind of run it in there too So work it around, make sure you're hitting all those areas. Okay, it's the feet. Let me get this whole back situation here. The backs of the arms. Ooh, that's too much. Just get in there. In there. Put this guy around. And it's okay to be heavy with this because it will help kind of line out all these other bits in here and kind of sell the model more as a whole. Yeah. 
Okay. I'm gonna get the neck ring and the neck and everything like that. So just get that brush all nice and saturated so we can get in there with minimal effort. Ooh, and then we want to make sure we get the back of the head here. Okay, and then there's the little, we'll, we'll switch to a smaller brush. Because there's little teeny areas in here that we don't, we want to get, but so this whole like inside of the cheek here. mouth so the cheek here and then like around the eyes and that is our sentinel mark IV uh, prime Amazon Prime Sentinel. He's all good to go. Um, like I said, we'll do the bases later, but that's how we do it. That's how they turn out. They When they dry, they dry a little bit more matte and a little bit more, um, what's it called? Better than it is right now. <laughs> Just really quick cleaning up the areas because I had to like I said, I was touching this area a lot when I was kind of going through it with the, when I was moving my hand around a lot. You just want to touch up those areas and make sure that they're clean so that it can dry nice. Cool. And there we have it. As always, thanks for watching. Uh, like, comment, and, and subscribe. We have new videos every Wednesday. Um, and we'll see you guys on the next one.